The Atari 7800's library contains a good amount of arcade games that, while classic, were already years old by the time they were released for the console. Games like Joust, Centipede, Dig Dug, but not Space Invaders. The 7800 had to wait until 2008 for this excellent homebrew version of one of the all-time classic arcade games to be released. Space Invaders was the Atari 2600's killer app, and while a great game, was understandably not exactly like the arcade. The 5200 version went away from the original as well with all new alien designs. But Space Invaders for the 7800 goes back to the source for its inspiration. Now I am certainly not a Space Invaders expert, but this version seems to deliver a pretty authentic experience, and also adds a lot of options on top of that. It features the full complement of 55 invaders, and their designs match the arcade, as do the look of the shields and your laser cannon. This game uses the 7800's high-resolution graphics mode for a really crisp and sharp look. The sound effects on the original arcade machine were generated using analog circuits and would be impossible to emulate on the 7800, but nonetheless, the sound effects here are very well done. They're rich and full and do at least give the same feel as the arcade. I suppose I could nitpick and say that in the arcade version, the aliens don't actually move all together. Uh, the bottom row moves first, then the next one up, and so on, giving a kind of wave or ripple effect to the motion. Here, the aliens all move in lockstep, but to me that's a minor thing. But the gameplay is excellent. It goes so far as to even include the Furrer trick. This gameplay technique was discovered by Eric Furrer. And I, I hope I'm saying his last name right, but anyway, what he discovered was a way to get the maximum 300 points every time you shoot the mystery ship. At the start of each board, start counting each shot you take. Whether it hits an invader or not doesn't matter. When you get to 22 shots, wait for the mystery ship and hit it with your 23rd shot for 300 points. After that, hitting the ship on every 15th shot will also give 300 points. Counting is fun. This is this is like Sesame Street. Anyway, it's cool to see that this was included in the 7800 adaptation, and it just enhances the authenticity. But more than just bringing home a nice version of the original, you also get a bunch of options to change up the gameplay. You can choose the speed of the bombs or turn them off completely, have moving shields or none at all, uh, make the invaders invisible, turn zigzagging bombs on or off, there's two-player alternating and simultaneous competitive modes, and there's even four different color schemes to choose from. And these options can be mixed and matched in any combination. There's countless versions of Space Invaders available for all manner of consoles and computers. Well, I guess it's not countless. I mean, they could be counted. There's not an infinite number of Space Invaders ports. But anyway, if you enjoy Space Invaders, and like homebrews, and have a 7800, this is a game that deserves a look. And even better, a play. Look at it while you play! It's a great game to look at, and play. At.